home. I was 14 years old when I was kicked out of my home because I was disobedient and I didn't listen to anyone. In the nearly 20 years since Eugene Telly Willingham's release from prison, he has devoted his life to his family, his work, and most of all his ministry, which consists of redirecting the lives of young men and steering them away from what he calls a path of self-destruction. You know, James Clark, Autumn, and everybody just trying to support and come out and trying to help brothers on the street and stuff like that. But, you know, in order to get help, you got to want help. There's a lot of people out here, young guys and stuff like that, that don't even want no help. So, you know, it's, it's up to us to take advantage of the situation. Teddy's journey and evolution did not start with his 1993 encounter with then-Mayor Freeman Bosley. But it was a pivot point in his life, providing him with an introduction into the construction industry and, more importantly, a glimpse into his future. I come down the street one morning, man, and see them down there, man. It's police, it's everybody, the cameras, this and that, whatever, man. And they talking on the, uh, they talking to the reporters and all that, whatever, and they like, you finna knock this house down, it's a drug house and all this and that. I'm like, man, it ain't no drug house. So they grabbed me. So when they grabbed me, Freeman like, bring that young man here. I want to see what he got to say. So Freeman was like, man, y'all over here doing too much shooting and you just snap whatever. And I, I'm like, listen to man. Nobody want to be living out here like they, they living, man, for real. I'm like, man, people need a chance and opportunity to get a job. You know, we get good paid jobs. Don't nobody be out selling drugs. We need something to do. Yet, despite the important personal connections made that day, the seasonal nature of the construction business and the wintertime layoffs pulled Teddy back into the streets and ultimately to prison. Ironically, it was during his period of incarceration that he began to connect the dots that for a long time had eluded him. The resentment, you know what I'm saying, the rebellion, you know what I'm saying, it's cause like we say, hurt people hurt people. You doing a lot of stuff, you doing a lot of stuff that you ain't got no business doing and, and taking part, taking up because of what has been done to you. He believes it is important for young people to hear stories of underdogs who got out of the life and prospered. I just had tunnel vision. I had tunnel vision. I'm going to work. I'm going to take care of my family. You know what I'm saying? The thing's going to get better. I'm, work, I'm, I'm, I'm making two chicks come together to take care of a household. As I'm doing it, I'm studying thinking something better going to come along. But I'm working. I see what you done showed me. As long as you showed me if I stay on the, on, on the path of what's right, I got you, Ted. The door's gonna open for you. 